You're listening to the Sound Creator Podcast, the show that brings you deep diving analysis and conversations covering my world of field recordings, sound design, and sound effects. I'm Cedric Black, your host. Thank you for being you. Thank you for showing up. And most of all, thank you for listening. Welcome to the show. And we're back again for another episode of the Sound Creator Podcast. And usually I start off the, the episode or each week. So it seems like that's what I've been doing for the past few weeks by just by sharing some excitement of me getting a new microphone. And I, I'm sure that I did last week, but this week I didn't. This week I'm not because I didn't get a new microphone. I did not. And I'm not getting a new microphone. I think that I'm okay for now. All the microphones that I have serve my purpose, serve my needs for for now at least. And I know that my wife is probably happy that I'm done getting buying something, buying stuff. But it's it's an ongoing process. It's always there's always something that I can get. I mean, there's, it's not always something that I need, but there's always stuff out there. There's always new equipment, new tools of the trade that's better or just there. And there's just all, all types of bells and whistles that I can get. But I, you know, I, I try to stick with the things that I need over the things that I just want just because there may there may be a sale or, or something or just because it's just available. But for what I do, I have everything that I need. All the bases are covered for now. I keep saying for now because that is a fact. When you're in music, uh, anything related to music, there's always a, a period where you're okay for now and things continue to evolve. Technology gets better and better and it makes your job easier and makes creation, the creation process quicker. It allows us to work faster. So I'm the type of person that stays, that that's, that keeps themselves educated and, and informed on the on the changes that come about and all the things that are happening. So when I am ready to, or when I feel like I need to open myself up to look at new tools and new equipment or things of that nature, I'm already informed about what I need and what it can do for me. So a lot of times, new things that come out not really anything that's it there's just it's just a different way of doing either what I do or sometimes it enhances or it makes it quicker but if it's something that I can't do with my current stuff I really won't invest into it unless it just makes my workflow a lot faster and smoother and better so no microphone this week so one thing that I have been dealing with and, and it's very noticeable to me is my room because my room now is a it's a music room, not really a recording studio because I don't record vocals or people in my room, but it's a music studio that I use. That I've converted one of my bedrooms into a music place where I create my music for my work and it sort of serves as a music music room slash sound design, sound effect studio, and now has become, well, has now been forced to make room for a podcast studio. And I, I've never really invested into recording vocals because that, that's just not what I do. That's not my work. My work doesn't, my work doesn't involve vocals in any way. So, but now I'm, I've gotten a microphone and I'm, I'm the vocalist on the podcast and I'm just been, I've been battling the, the background noise that I pick up in the room because it's an, it's not a, it's an untreated room for sure uh, because it's not intended for that purpose. I've just made it that purpose because I was led to do this show, to create this podcast show. I thought about going into a, one of my closets in my bedroom and setting up in there and, you know, getting in between my clothes and maybe throwing up a blanket on the door, which I saw that on on one of the YouTube videos. 
to see if that makes a big difference. But I'm not sure if I want to go that route yet. I may try it out, just, just experiment to see what the difference would be in the sound because I'm, I'm a sound person and I like for things to sound good. And I haven't really been pleased 100% with the sound of the podcast when I go back and listen to it on the podcast stations. So that's a decision I'm, I'm having to make pretty soon. I'm trying to figure this out because I can't really treat the room. I don't think my wife is going to go for that. Putting up panels and everything and acoustical treatment around her, my room because I don't, you know, I don't, I know the house is not intended for that. That's not what a house is intended for. It's intended to live in. It's not intended to turn into <laughs> something like that. But I don't want to do that because, you know, I just don't want to go that route. But I'll Hopefully, I'll, you know, I'll get this figured out pretty quick. I've been doing some research and I got, you know, I have tools that I've been working with. I think it's just me getting better with the tools and understanding how to best to better use to utilize these tools in this situation that I have. So that's where I am with that. That's a project. That's an ongoing project. So thank you guys for tuning in this week and for taking the time to spend with me for these few minutes. The podcast have usually been around 15 minutes for 15 to 20 minutes, I believe. So this one would be no different. And for this week, I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm trying something different. So what I want to do this week, I don't know previous episodes, I play the sound and I describe what the sound is and give you a little background, a little story behind the sound. But this week, and who knows, maybe every week I might try something different, but it's still, it's still sound. I'm still talking about my world of sound and the way that I do things and just in a story behind my sound creations. So this week, what I'm going to do is I, I have two variations of the same sound. One is an unprocessed sound, which is just, a, you know, just a raw sound. It's a sound that I create, a sound that I recorded. And, you know, I made it listenable. I made it audible. That's the word I think that, we're, that I'm looking for. So it's just a raw sound with nothing. You can hear it and it would be pretty easy to determine what the sound is. And, but then the other version is, I call it a processed sound, which is, it's the same sound, but it's, I added little bit of magic I added I used some tools to change the characteristic and the tone of the sound to create something different uh, it's the same sound but it's just think of it as a cake think of it as a cake now with icing and candles and frosting and sprinkles on it still the same cake but it's tastes different so it's two so it, there's two separate sounds so but two separate tastes that's a good way to look at it so I'll, I'll you know I'll get the sound ready to play first I'll play the unprocessed sound the raw sound talk about that for a minute and then come back and do the processed sound so here we go Okay, so I did, I mean, I have, I used my geophone, that's my seismic microphone, I love that microphone, and just my regular mono, mono, mono microphone, and just recorded in one of my bedrooms, just the closet door. There's a closet door with a lot of wiggle room to it. So it's just the the sound and the vibration from opening and closing a closet door. And that's the raw, the raw sound. So now I will I'll play the process sound and 
just tell you a little bit about what you know what I did a little bit of so explain explain a little bit about the process behind that sound so here is the process sound and just remember the two different tastes that's the cake so this is the cake with the decorations the frosting and the candles and sprinkles If, if you can almost hear the same there there the characteristics are still there because of the the after like the trailing echoes it was like a repeated tapping of the door so that part is still there and I left it there purposely just so you could see that it is it is basically the same sound underneath there because that characteristic is still there that little trailing repeating tapping of the of the doors like the end it it sort of trails off it's quieter and quieter but it, it gets faster also before it the, the sound completely finishes and I mean the you know the thing that I like about design sound design is that the limitations are endless there are no limitations you know, I, I can do so much, you can do so much, I can do so much with a simple sound. Just that sound for the door, and I recorded this sound specifically for this week's episode. And just to further reiterate what I say every week, that you can take a simple sound and create something totally new from something simple, just one sound. and. That's just one object, just the door. And I added, I mean, if you can hear there, you know, there's some reverb there, there's a little bit of delay and I just changed the filter. Some of the frequencies are filtered out, some of the frequencies, but there it is. That's just a process sound. So, you know, when I hear that, you know, personally my ears, if I'm just listening, if, if you say, you know, if you ask me which one do you like, Coke or Pepsi, I'm not really sure. If I even well, if I, if I'm listening to the sound by itself, you know, I'll probably say Coke, which is the un, well, I'll say the unprocessed sound, the raw sound, because that's the more that my ears like the more natural sound and the processed sound. I like it, but it's just you know, I know that there's. You know, something has been altered in some way. It still sounds good to me. But I think it just depends on the environment. If I'm just listening to it now with nothing else going on, it wouldn't be as pleasing to me as the unprocessed sound. But, you know, but this just depends on the situation. Of, you know, if, if it's using something. So any, any one of them, I think, can be used in... And they are used in media, in a movie or a TV show or something, because every time someone closes a door, that's what the sound is. We, like always, we don't pay attention to it. We hear it, but we really don't pay attention to that being a design. That's that's a design sound. Someone actually created that in such a way, Yeah, you know, there's different ways to create that, but someone actually created that. So I'll play this one more time and maybe just listen to it and see. I'll, I'll play the process sound and maybe listen to it and listen for the for the repeating the, the repeating tail at the end that gets that that speeds up as it gets quieter. Yep, 
it's that's it. That's that's a door. That's the closet door. This week's sound. This week's show is about the closet door. You know, who would ever thought that? And how interesting does that sound? Just the name alone. Just oh, I'm recording the closet door. Doesn't sound that interesting, but when you hear it in context and the sound that it, that it actually creates and the sound behind it sounds a little bit more interesting. Well, at least it does to me. So thanks for showing up this week. That's it for this week, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you would like to help support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and a review. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Instagram at said black or via my website at cedricblack.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.